Hi, in this video we are going to set up ASP, ASP.NET programming environment. Um, to do that, we need to first set up IIS on Windows 10. This is a list of suggestions how you should use this video. The notes for this video can be found at this URL. The website is loaded here. The first thing we need to do is to turn on Internet Information Services. It is called IIS, formerly um, known as the Internet Information Server, or you can simply call it the web server created by Microsoft. Okay. Before we do this, we should switch off other web servers, for example, Apache. So you should not have any web server running at this point before you do this. When, um, of course, we, as you can see here, I'm currently running a Windows 10. Okay. And, um, yeah, I mentioned here is to set up IIS on Windows 10. So I'm running a Windows 10 operating system. So this actually has a IIS 10 um, running, uh, comes with it. So all we need to do is switch it on. So let's do that. The first thing we need to do is to find the control panel. So we do a search, search for the control panel and launch the control panel. And after you find the control panel, go and look for programs, programs and features, programs and features, click on that. And on the left side here, there is something called turn pro turn windows feature on or off so you can click on that and you see this screen let me make it bigger okay so when you see this screen um, there is something you should switch it on obviously is internet internet information services as you can see here Okay, so let's switch that one on. When you check on that, it's on. Let's look at what is below here. So um, you don't really need an FTP server, okay, because I'm just trying to develop C Sharp, a .NET C Sharp. I don't need this unless you are running something that allow user to FTP stuff over, then you can switch that one on. I don't need that. Um, Web management tools, IIS management console is really useful, so that is by default on. All web services, all the default stuff is on. There will be certain things we need to switch on later below here, but right now I'm happy with what I have. Okay, so you click on OK, and then Windows features say that um, Windows features say that they are going to do some work please wait so we'll wait here and this is going to take a while so i'm going to wait with you and keep quiet for a while okay that's fast um, so you see this screen if your computer takes longer time that's normal okay depending on um, the, the speed of the computer so you can or some computers take slightly longer so when you see this say close all right we switch on the feature so the next question is now what okay um, let's do a search and this time you search for internet information services so, so this is the one that we want internet information services manager so click on that you will launch internet information services manager IS manager and I would use this very often 
when uh, we develop .NET C Sharp. So let's right click here and say I want to pin this to my taskbar. Okay, so next time you can launch this from your taskbar. So let's try that. So click on that. We don't have to search anymore. It will open Internet Information Services Manager. Okay, and you can expand this to look at the default website and all that. So this is the IIS manager running to it's running now <clears throat> so you can stop it and you can start it and you can stop it start stop so now it's in the starting state okay I think this is a good place to stop let me close this so next in the next video we are going to launch this again okay so um, thanks for watching. I see you in the next video. Bye.